guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're returning, welcome. If you're new, I am an independent Scentsy consultant and I post home fragrance and book content. And today I have my Whatcha Warming video, which is my home fragrance roundup, what I've been getting through, what I've been using, um, mainly wax melts, but I do have a, a few other things to share with you. So I'll share those things first and then I'll move on to the wax melts. This is about three weeks worth. I, I tried to do two weeks and that didn't happen. Uh, life got in the way. So it's about three weeks. So let's jump into it. First off, non sensi I finished um, a candle, golden chestnut. Uh, obviously, there is still wax. That's because I use a candle crock for all my candles that I still have um, because I get through them that way. Otherwise, I have candles from six or seven years ago <laughs> I still need to get through. It takes me forever, you guys, because uh, I just forget about them. Or if I do light them, it's only for a minute and then I'm ready to move on to something else, which is why I love wax melts more, honestly. Um, I went through a candle phase, <laughs> but it just takes forever. And so wax melts work better for me. I'm not anti-candle, which is why I do have a candle crock. Um, but it's just, yeah. So I got through golden chestnut. This was a nice, yummy, uh, chestnut scent with a little bit of spice. Okay. Then I finished a fragrance flower. This one was pink. What is this one called? Pinkberry sandalwood. It's in the catalog. It was new in the spring summer catalog. Still in the catalog. You can get this one. This was in the um, Daisy, Darling Daisy. So this is a reed diffuser, or it's like a reed diffuser, but as you can see, much, much prettier. And some people decorate these. They'll sharpie the petals to make um, a beautiful design once the oil absorbs. Or you can put like food coloring in the oil. Or Scentsy does offer some of the flowers, like the... Um, Harvest Collection flowers are colored. The Villains flowers are colored. Um, and then the, or they have oil. The, not the, the Villains flower is colored. The oil in the Harvest Collection flowers, they're sunflowers and they're really cute. Um, the oil is colored and so it absorbs the colored oil. And then the holiday flowers are poinsettias and they, the actual flower is colored and then the oil is clear. Anyway, I do highly recommend these. I like using them in our downstairs powder room. They are great to go in places that you don't have outlets or smaller spaces. You can put them on a desk. You can, like I do, put it in your you know powder room. They're great. I like them. They don't give off a ton of fragrance who don't think you're going to put it in a big like living room and get a ton of scent from them. But in smaller, more confined spaces, they're great. And like I said, just like a reed diffuser, just way prettier. Okay, moving on. I finished a Scentsy Fresh. This was in Oh Snapdragon. This was a limited time Scentsy Fresh bundle two years ago, something like that. I finally finished it. I love our Scentsy Fresh. They just last a really long time for me. And then I finished a counter clean in Johnny Appleseed. This scent is available still in the cleaning line. I love our cleaning products. Counter clean is my favorite counter clean. And probably the all purpose cleaner are my two favorites. I enjoy using the all purpose cleaner, which is you dilute. And so one, one bottle gets you a ton of cleaner. I like being able to use that in like my mop bucket. So that's usually how I use it. Or I'll pour in a little in my um, toilet and then use the scrubby brush to clean the toilet um, and let it sit for a little bit and flush. And yeah, so, but this, even though it says counter clean, works on a ton of different things. It is like an all-purpose cleaner, 
My recommendation is definitely to spot check though if you're using it on a porous surface surface, but it's great. I love it. I love the counter clean. Okay, moving on to wax. So some of this is from the wax melting challenge, and some of it is just my regular um, seasonal melting. I do my wax melting challenge up upstairs in our loft. Um, so I'm gonna get all those, and I did remember to get my list this time, so hopefully I can figure out what goes with what a little easier for you guys. Okay, the first one I'm just grabbing and going. The first one I have is a scent that is available right now in the Harvest Collection. It is Disney's Frightfully Delightful. It first released last year along with the Mickey Mouse Jack Lantern Warmer, which I do have and I love. It is available again this year. Um, it's, last time I checked, it was still available. It wasn't sold out yet. So definitely go check that out if you are a sucker for Disney and Halloween. It's the best. Okay, so this scent I used for... Mm, when did I use this one? See, even with my list, I can't figure out when it is. When did I use this one? It might have been for the, I think there was a couple that were like very end of September. I still had to finish up because I am not seeing this. So it was for somewhere in September. This is a pumpkin peach brown sugar scent. And it feels like it's kind of would be weird having peach and pumpkin together, but it is really yummy. This is a really good one. I'm considering clubbing it this year. We'll see, but it's yummy. Okay, moving on to one I know is on the list. It is the Scentsy Sunshine Bar, which I got from Scentsy Family Reunion this year. And this was for, um, let's see, where'd you go? the 11th which is melt and orange colored wax and so this is a yummy citrusy vanilla scent it's it's very yummy okay love this one buzzworthy this was for world teacher day on the fifth melt something that starts with an a a b or a c buzzworthy for b this is a very strong honey almond scent i love it uh, no longer available. It was in the Bring Back My Bar. Was it the last one or in January? I think it was last, the one in July, I think. I don't remember for sure. I love it. It's very controversial though. Love or hate for sure for people. Um, I never club it though when it does come around just because it only takes a cube or two to fill the whole space. It's very strong. Okay, next up is Tahitian Twilight. And this is for the second, which was Melt a Purple Wax. So it is purple. This was a scent of the month a couple years ago. And it's a nice, like, tropical, musky bedroom scent. Not a favorite, but it's enjoyable. Okay, then we have... I don't think this was for any, I think this was September 2 Apple Press. This was part of September's Wax Melting Challenge the last couple days. It's a yummy, <coughs> excuse me, yummy apple scent. It has an apple, like a fresh apple, and then it also has like this green rose note to it, but it's very gentle. It's not like in your face rose. So it, it's just a lovely outdoorsy apple scent. Okay, the 1st of October was Melt a Fruity Fall Scent. I did Autumn Hearth, finished the bar. This is like a classic apple cider scent. It's very nice. Then we have Autumn Blaze Maple. This was for the end of September too. I think this was the final day in September's melting. And this is just perfect. I think it was like Melt a Fall Scent or something. I love this. I did end up taking it out of my Scentsy Club, which Scentsy Club is our subscription service. Tons of perks. If you put a wax bar in there and it's not produced anymore on my regular website, if it's in your club, Scentsy will continue to make it for you. It's our always get my bar feature, um, but you're never locked into anything. So this was in my club, but I did take it out. 
uh, just because I have a lot of bars. And yeah, I love it though. So hopefully I won't end up regretting it. It's apples and pumpkins and maple and like an oak note, something like that. It is a fall. It's fall. It's so yummy. Um, the maple's kind of strong if you're sensitive to maple. Not that you can get it anymore, but if it ever comes back, then you know. Okay, this was for uh, the third warm something movie related. I did Lord of the Rings Shire Sunrise. I really love the scent. I did end up um, putting it for safekeeping in one of my clubs. It It's so good. It's sweet and green, like outdoorsy. Not really grassy, but along those lines. But there's also, to my nose, like a toasted marshmallow note to it. And so it's like this cozy, it feels like it's Hobbiton, is what it feels like. It's like what you would smell if you were actually in the Shire because you know hobbits like to be cozy and it's you're surrounded by beautiful green hills everywhere so anyway that one is lovely I love that one hopefully it will come down back one day but I did put it in my club for safekeeping okay then we have Stroop Waffle Delight and I don't think I did this for anything I think I just melted this. Just for some reason, it was in with my pile of other stuff. But it smells like a Stroop waffle. Uh, it smells actually very similar, though, to Bath & Body Works uh, pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, you can't get this anymore anyway, but it's good and strong. Uh, if you like the pumpkin pecan waffles, if it ever come, this ever comes onto my website, definitely... Um, grab you some of those for sure. Then we have toasted caramel sugar. And this one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where this one was either. Even with my list, I can't figure it out. I don't know, but this one is so yummy. I did end up taking it out of my club. It smells like a creme brulee to me right after they char the, the top layer of sugar. It was just, it's on the lighter side, and since I couldn't smell it very well, I was like, hmm, I need to make room for other things in my club that are stronger. Oh, I just found it. On the 8th, it is melt a scent that has caramel or toffee in it. Okay, then we have the 7th, melt something containing cloves and falling leaves, which was a bring back my bar scent. It's cloves, cinnamon, and patchouli. Normally I hate patchouli, but I actually like it in this bar. So I did grab, um, when it was available, I grabbed another bar of it. And I love the label. So, okay, then we have on the fourth, which is World Smile Day, pick a scent that makes you grin. I chose Perfectly Cute. And this is the perfect spring pear. It's so amazing. I hope this makes it into the catalog in the spring summer. Um, but it is in my Scentsy Club, so I'll still get it even if it doesn't come into the catalog. Okay, so the 17th Melt a Spiced Citrus Scent. I chose Blood Orange Spice. This is why one of the reasons why I like doing the melting challenge because it gets me to melt things that I wouldn't choose normally because honestly I really do not like this scent so I'm trying to use it up and so the challenge gives me an excuse to use it um, this came out it with bring back my bar I think the same time as falling leaves actually and oh, I just don't like it 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 just is it doesn't appeal to me I do know that there are those that do enjoy it though, but for me, not a fan. Okay, Frosted Fantasy, one that I do love. This is available in the Harvest Collect, or not Harvest, the Holiday Collection right now. Um, all five of the holiday scents are available. This was my favorite out of all of them, I would say. And this was, I used for the 15th, which was Grouch Day Melted Green Wax. So this is a fresh, 
fresh, sweet, uh, slightly evergreen scent. Uh, if you're not usually into evergreen, I think that's the scent for you. Along the same lines as like Red Berry and Spruce that came out in the holiday collection three or four years ago. And then it was in the catalog for one or two seasons from what I remember. Anyway, so if you like that scent, I'm sure you'll like this. Kind of similar to Be Merry as well, which isn't available anymore either. So if you're missing that one, try Frost Frosted Fantasy. Okay, then we have Farmer's Market. And this one was for the 12th pick, a scent fit for a farmer. I mean, you can't get more fit for a farmer than Farmer's Market. So I figured that would be a good one. The notes in this one are kind of odd. It has carrot in it, I think cucumber and rose from what I remember. This was a bring back my bar, no longer available. It smells a lot like green bell peppers to me. So definitely something a farmer would like, I would think. Okay, then we have Cozy Cardigan. And this was for the 13th Melt Something Pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so I went with Cozy Cardigan, beautiful dusty rose color. This is available now on my website. It is a fall winter catalog scent and I think it's so pretty. I actually melt it in the spring though, rather than the fall winter, uh, normally, except for the challenge, I chose it. But it just feels more spring to me. So I save my bars for the spring <laughs> because it's more of a spring, like early spring cozy scent to my nose. Okay, then we have, this is the 14th Melt Any Dessert Scent, meant to be merry. Look at the adorable label. This is a yummy peppermint cookie, peppermint frosted cookie scent. And spoiler alert, this will be in the scents of the season. So you'll be able to get this. Oh, it's so good. I love it so much. Okay. Um, I did have it in my club and it will go back into my club. I took it out for this last shipment. Um, you may have seen my quarterly haul. You may not, depending on when I put these videos up. But my quarterly haul, I talked about it. Since this is coming back, I took it out of my October shipment because I knew it was coming back. So once it does come back, November, beginning of November, I think it is, I will put it back in my club. Okay, then we have Winter Twilight, also part of the holiday collection. And this was for the ninth warm and LTO scent. So the whole holiday collection is a limited time offer scent. Um, so definitely grab them while you can because they won't last forever. Then we have King Cake. And this was for the 10th Melt a Cake scent. Sorry guys. Ooh, Melt a Cake scent. This was part of the Mardi Gras collection. King Cake is like a brioche dough type of cake scent. Cinnamon sugar. It's yummy. Uh, bready. Sweet. It's good. So that one worked well. And then oh, this might, I think I just melted this. Yeah, I don't think this is part of the melting challenge. I did get through stargazing um, just here in my bedroom. So very pretty, like more floral version of jammy time. Um, kind of powdery floral, not available. It was a scent of the month a few years ago, three years or so, four years, something like that. Um, so it's really pretty in bedrooms. Okay, moving on. The rest of these bars are my regular seasonal melting that I do downstairs. So all the fall goodness scents, even though some of the wax melting challenge scents were fallish as well. I got through around the campfire, love this one. I would say even if you aren't normally like a campfire type of home fragrance person, I would give this one a try. This is good as a mixer, but it is really good on its own too. It is like a sweet, smoky wood, but it's not like overwhelmingly smoky to my nose anyway. It's beautiful. 
it's so nice. Vanilla type of note to it too. Um, and it's a great mixer. So if you're into mixing, definitely try some other scents with this one because it's so good. Okay, so got through that. I got through a classic cider mill, one of the best fall scents out there. This is one I like to recommend if you're not sure what kind of fall scent you're wanting. Cider Mill is always one that almost, I can't say everybody likes it, but I would say 95% of the people like it. So it's always a safe bet to recommend this one. It's apples and pumpkins and like a cider spice. Uh, I get more apple than pumpkin though. Just an FYI. I got through a bar of cashmere and corduroy. Love, love, love this one. It is so pretty. It's a cashmere scent and it's sweet and perfumey, amber, musky. It's beautiful in the bedroom. I love it. Then we have Spooky But Sweet, which is September's scent of the month. Yeah, that's right because this month's is one that's coming up in just a minute. So this is like a combination, um, give me candy and um, scary, but scary, scary good, scary good. It's like they had a baby and that's kind of what you get with this one. Um, I get pumpkin, even though it's not in the notes, it's like a pumpkin spice candy type scent and it's very yummy and a great performer. Then we have Caramel Apple Craze, Caramel Apple Goodness, it's so yummy, it smells like a caramel apple. Then we have Bundle Up, this is also part of the holiday collection, and this is a more straightforward cashmere type scent, very light though. Um, if you were a fan of the regular cashmere scent since he had years ago, uh, you would probably probably like this one. I like it better than that scent. I wasn't a really a fan of that one, but it's along the same lines as that one. So bundle up. Then we have Jack's Obsession. This is like cider meal, but green apple and no pumpkin. It is a green apple cider scent, and it's so, so good. I keep on toying with the idea of taking it out of my Scentsy Club, and then I melt it again, and I'm like, no, I can't take that out. It's so good, especially since it looks like it's not coming back this year. Um, yeah, so it's, it's so good. It's so good. If you get a chance to try that one, definitely do it. Okay, this month's scent of the month, Vanilla Chestnut. This is like Spice Central. If you are a fan of spice, and it's like clove, heavy, heavy spice to my nose. Clove, cinnamon. I might have another spice. I can't remember if it, there was like all spice or something, or I'm thinking of a different scent. But, and then a little bit of chestnut. And to me, I don't give vanilla very spicy. So if you love spice, this is a good one for you. It's a good uh, performer as well. So I wouldn't repurchase it personally. It's just a little too much spice for me. Um, but yeah, I don't hate it or anything like that. It's just not a, my type of scent. One that is my type of scent, blueberry pancakes. This is in my club. It smells like blueberry pancakes. It's delicious and amazing, and I love it. <laughs> then we have Toasted Acorn and Oak, no longer available. This was my final bar of this. I was kind of regretting taking it out of my Scentsy Club because I did have it in my club at one point in time. And now that I'm finished, I'm a little sad, but it is toasty, acorn, nutty, woodsy goodness. It's, it's so yummy. Oh, I love this. This is my all-time favorite or one of my all-time favorites. Hufflepuff, Just and Loyal. This is amazing. I know this one can be a little bit of a polarizing scent as well. I personally love it. It is a strong performer. It's very like honey in your face. Even though the honey isn't in the notes, 
It's like, to me, I get like a honeyed apple and a cinnamon sugar pastry. And it's amazing. And I love it. And this is coming back with the other Hogwarts houses uh, wax bars. So I did kick it out of my club for October, for October's club shipment, because I knew it was coming back. But it is absolutely going back in my club. It's so, so good. I love it so much. So yeah, stay tuned for the uh, Hogwarts houses bars and a possible new warmer. Can't wait for you guys to see the warmer. It is so, so cool. Okay, painted leaves. Talk about one that's strong too. This is, was a bring back my bar. So not available anymore, but if you're looking for a super fresh, clear the air of all the pumpkin and spice and apple and heavy treat scents that you may have, painted leaves is a really good one to do. It cleanses the air, cleanses your nose palette of all those heavier scents. This is a very like a brisk outdoor fall scent. Strong one. This is another one where I never club it just because it takes me forever to get through it. You only need one or two cubes and it fills the house pretty much. So such a good one though if you're into those outdoorsy, very brisk fall day types of scents. Pumpkin Sticky Bun. This is from the Gordy Goodness Collection. I don't think it's available for regular purchase, but you can put it in, in Scentsy Club and get it that way. It is a pumpkin sticky bun. Uh, there's coconut in it, which I find a little weird, but when it's melting, it's, it's not bad. It's a nice scent. Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. This was the scent of the month a couple years ago. I think this was my final bar. It was nice. I actually ended up enjoying it more this time around. I thought it was good, but almost to the point where I was like, oh, I wish I did have a little bit more of that one, but it's gone. Harvest Blessings. I'm not sad this one's gone. This one, to me, it's like a classic pumpkin spice scent, but to my nose, it's it reads soapy. Tell me if, if you've experienced the scent, if you get a soapiness to it, because I do. And this was my final bar. I'm glad to be done with it. Um, yeah, so, oh, another Falling Leaves. I finished this one downstairs. Like I said, clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. Um, and I actually like it with that patchouli in it which I never thought I would ever say because I'm not a fan of patchouli at all. Then we have apple cherry strudel. This is no longer available. I enjoyed the heck out of this one. This was my final bar. It's so good. And I'm very picky with cherry, but I loved it in this. I should have clubbed it. The only reason I didn't put it in my Scentsy Club is because it um, loses fragrance super quick. But while it's going, it's strong and it's so yummy. So apple cherry strudel can't get any more. And then another autumn blaze maple I went through. So as I said before, apples, pumpkins, uh, maple, and like an oak note. So, so good. Uh, so that's it, you guys. That's what I've been getting through the last few weeks. Um, tell me down below. What are you getting through? Are you ready to move on to winter scents? Or are you still enjoying all the fall goodness? Or are you someone that just melts whatever you want when you want? Um, yeah, let me know down below. I appreciate all of you. Please like and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.